Hello, welcome to Sri Lanka Cricket. We do have batting coach Grant Flower to take your questions. Uh, I can see Ranjika. Please raise your hand, uh, question. Uh, I'm uh, Ranjika from the Morning Newspaper. Uh, so Grant, uh, two obvious questions for you. Uh, first is, uh, how is Kusaljan uh, Ferreira doing? How is he feeling? And the other is uh, probably a question that you'll be expecting. Uh, the weaknesses against spin. You being a great player against spin bowling, what sort of advice would you give these youngsters in preparation for the World Cup? Uh, yeah, firstly, KJ, he's, he's struggling a bit with his shoulder. And just also just getting back to full fitness, running between the wickets, etc. So he's not 100%, but um, we, we thought it was the right time for him to come back into the team. We needed him to bolster the batting. And today he, he looked like probably our best batter. So it just shows the class of the guy. And hopefully that fitness will come back and his shoulder will improve. Regarding the playing of spin, yeah, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. Um, it's not through lack of practice. The guys hit lots of balls. We do lots of drills. We speak about it. We have lots of meetings. But at the moment, some of their thought processes um, probably aren't spot on. They're making probably inappropriate decisions at the wrong time. And it's just execution under pressure. And the South Africans have played it quite well. But you know, hats off to the South African spinners. I, I think they've bowled really well and they've got it in good areas. They've had good fields and um, the ball has spun and bounced and we haven't been good enough to deal with it. And for us to succeed at, at the World Cup and in the qualifiers, we, we're going to have to improve a lot and improve quickly. David Peter Singer. Grant, uh, we've seen uh, the South Africans playing the spin quite well, uh, using uh, the reverse sweep and the um, conventional sweep. Um, we haven't seen much uh, coming from the Sri Lankans. Is it a um, natural ability that we don't possess? Is it the reason or um, our guys are not, um, they don't want to play the reverse sweep or the sweep? Uh, what do you reckon? Yeah, it's a, it's a very good question, Dameth. Um, I, I think that Quite a few of the guys are reluctant to play it and i think the belief in uh within the guys is they can manipulate the ball without having to play the sweep or the reverse sweep um but on big turning pitches um sometimes when you can't get down the track and you can't rotate the strike you do have to play it and you know and the guys do practice it but maybe they need to practice it more but it's a confidence thing um you know, it's like hitting a cover drive. You, you've got to practice it a lot to gain that confidence. Um, but we, we've spoken about it, but, you know, you can have all the team meetings and say all the, do all the one-on-ones with the batter, but when he's under pressure in the middle, it's up to him to make the right decision and to pick the right ball to play whatever shot. Uh, but we'll continue to keep trying to access the sweep and the reverse sweep because... Because if uh, you're struggling to rotate or struggling for boundaries, you've got to come up with some option. And if it's not the sweep or a sweep, you know, you've got to come up with other options. So, you know, hats off to the South African players, the way they played it, to be honest. Asamami, please. Grant, uh, uh, we saw that Aswin Sanaka had a fantastic domestic season with the bat, but unfortunately, uh, he has not brought it to uh, when it comes to international games. We know for the last uh, couple of games as a batsman, uh, what's lacking there? Yeah, good. another good question. I'm not sure. He's hitting the ball beautifully in the net. Um, he had a really good domestic tournament previous in the T20, and he was the top batsman there. So, maybe it might have something to do with the captaincy, the pressure of that. I, I'm not sure, but um, he's got to find out for himself and come up with some answers because at the moment it, it isn't good enough. Um, 
But the guy's a good player, and like I said, he, he's hitting the ball really well in the nets. But the nets is one thing, and executing under pressure in the middle is another. Uh, but he's got to find a solution. We do. You can ask your question. Hi, Grant. Uh, the pitch was really good for spinners. Uh, most of our wickets uh, fell. Our batsmen uh, went to the back foot against spin. What do you think about that? Um. Yeah. Well, some players like to play spin off the back foot. Um, sometimes it's yeah. It's, it's just uh, making the wrong decision to to a filler ball that's getting on, and yeah, then you trap. So that, that's just it's a matter of skill and picking length early. And yeah, some of the guys haven't been doing that, and uh, yeah, they've been found wanting. So they've they've got to improve that. And and if they don't, then uh, yeah, we'll keep getting results like we are at the moment. Chatuga, you can ask. Hello, Brand. Um, we uh, seen a last uh, match. Uh, Sri Lanka lost the momentum in uh, power play, uh, but today we got the momentum in the power play. But uh, we couldn't capitalize uh, throughout the match. So uh, we have very less uh, matches before the uh, T20 World Cup. So how we uh, capitalize our batting unit uh, as a perfect batting unit? Uh, before the World Cup? Uh, yeah, we had a good start to that. We're 50 for two in the power play. But, you know, KJ had a good start and so did um, Banuka. And they should have got on, carried on. Um, KJ went for a sweep and missed it. And Banuka got a full toss and he should have put away, or at least not, not headed to the bowler, a full toss from an off spinner. Um, and it's not good enough because they both had good starts. Um, but the other guys should have rebuilt and done, did a lot better. But like you say, we, we've got some warm-up matches. We've uh, we had an honesty session in the change room just before I came to this meeting. So the coach said a few home truths, and so the, the boys know what they have to do. I got to look in the mirror and. Hopefully, we're going to come back with a much better performance in two days' time and hopefully take some confidence from that into our warm-up matches before the qualifiers. Martin, you can ask your question. Uh, Grant, when it comes to the dismissers, uh, if you look at uh, Bhanaka Rajapaksa got out of a full toss and Aidan Makaram was a part-time off-spinner and uh, Kusal Janit Pereira considered to be one of the best players in Sri Lanka batting lineup, he got out to... Aidan Makaram. As a batting coach, uh, we see that, you know, the, it's evident that the problem is with batting at this point of time. Uh, what, As a batting coach, what type of goals would you set for these kind of players to kind of overcome? Obviously, you said they are batting well at the nets, but when it comes to the grounds, uh, there's a big gap that is holding us apart. Yeah, look, regarding KJ, he hasn't had many net sessions at all um, since he's had COVID, but you know, you could see the way he was hitting to hitting it today. That's the class of the guy. The ball he got out to was probably a bit full to sweep, but a, a lot of sweeping is uh, predetermined. And when, when it's full and on the wickets, you got to make sure you hit it. And he probably just tried to hit it a bit too hard. Um, but you know, sometimes that happens. Whereas uh, yeah, Banuka, there's no excuse for that. You, you've got to be better than that if you if you want to succeed at international level, let alone club level. Um, you've got to be able to put that away. Uh, but yeah, the guys have. We, we do lots of drills in the nets, like I said earlier. Um, yeah, we, I throw lots of balls. The spinners ball heaps at them. Um, so it's it's not a lot lack of practice. I, I think it's more pressure and execution in the middle. And that's what T20 does to you. But but the best players in the world, they learn to cope with that pressure. David Peterson. Grant, um, another concern for Sri Lankan batting has been the uh, dot ball percentage. 
was game 49 today also 51 um have you all like uh, set a target that we should be betting less than this uh, in terms of of uh, dot balls and uh, how do you see us coming out of this uh, problem yes good question and that is that's analyzed every match our analyst tells us the amount of dot balls and it's recorded and we do have specific goals of dot balls and we try and limit them each match but past few matches it's been very poor unfortunately Sometimes it comes from trying to hit the ball too hard um, or, or looking for too many boundaries. Um, when, when it's good ball, maybe just getting off strike. So a lot of it's thought process, but we speak about it a lot. The guys work on it hard in the nets, um, but yeah, the, the better sides limit the, the dot balls a lot better than we're doing at the moment. Final question, Rajik, you can take that. Yes, Grant, uh, you touched on Banu Rajapaksa. He had uh, three ducks in a row. And today he got a good hit, uh, hit some good boundaries. But uh, what sort of uh, what sort of advice do we give him? Do you le- let him uh, express himself out there on his free will? Or do you give him the license to just go out and uh, just ex- express himself? Yeah, he's one of the guys that can hit boundaries. So we we, we do invite him to express himself definitely um, but obviously playing to his strengths and today he was going really well he played some lovely shots and, and he, he looked like today was his day uh, we had a really good session before the game and i said to him in the nets i haven't seen you hit it this well and today's your day but you know and he, he, look, he looked a million dollars today until he got out um, but yeah, it, it wasn't good enough. He, he needed to kick on. Uh, so we do have one-on-one discussions, but you know, you can talk so much in this game, but you, you've got to repay everyone out in the middle and execute skills under pressure for your country. With that, we end in the briefing. Thank you very much, Grant, for taking part and also the journalist. That's it. Okay. Thank you.